Booty gag, the only reason you're relevant is because you're not a straight guy. Just so you know. That's the only thing that actually got you anywhere. You ran on that, by the way. You ran on the fact that you were from a small town and you were homosexual. That was your entire campaign. And in my, in my estimation, in an attempt to not seem like he was homophobic, Biden put you on, on his, in his cabinet. That's all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sheep Get Sheared podcast. I'm your host, Austin Creed. My friends, you know, I can't help but listen to the news as one often does. And, you know, it's just so disgusting. I can't stand all of the stuff on Twitter, all the stuff on the mainstream media. The whole thing is, this is to be expected in an election year. I mean, let's be real. How many of us have been through an election year and this is day in, day out, garbage, propaganda, selective reporting, you know, the whole standard crap. But I'm sick and tired of it and it's really eating away at me. So I thought, you know what, it's got to, I can't be alone. I can't be the only one who was just eating away at my soul day in, day out. So I thought, you know what, I haven't done one of these in a while. Let's do some news reactions on the show today. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through Fox, CNN, MSNBC, Newsmax, CBS. We're going to go through all these different platforms and we're going to see what they're covering, why they're covering it. And uh, I'll give you my reactions. I have not looked at this yet. I just queued it up for the show. So here's what we're going to do. Before we get into that, I'll let you guys know straight up. I'm not going to sit here and give a politically correct answer to anything you're about to hear. If any of you have ever watched any of these I've ever done before, I got my coffee on deck. Don't worry, it's not spiked. Uh, I don't drink before 5 p.m., 6 p.m. usually. So you don't have to worry about that. But what we're going to do is we're going to break it all down. And if it offends you, well, it sounds like a you problem and not me. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into this, shall we? Without further ado, and please leave your comments below. I love to read them. If you want to ask me a question, ask me a question. Ask anybody else in the community a question. Let's hop into this. Let's start with good old supposed conservative Fox News. I'll share the screen. Let us take a gander. In between all the adverts, let's see what they actually say. State Department slams violent pro-Hamas mobs swarming DC. Oh, did y'all see that all they defaced? Um, was it the Liberty Bell? It was. It, they defaced a, a very important bell. I, I forget which one. There's so many. Look at this garbage. Look at look at this, man. This is this is supposed free speech. This is this they're okay with. Do they even know what Hamas Hamas stands for? No, of course they don't. They're morons. They don't know anything. All they know is Trump bad, Republicans bad, Democrats good. Jews bad, Palestinians good. That's all I know. Bunch of stupid morons. Uh, let's see, White House briefing underway after Biden and Netanyahu meeting. I'm actually curious to hear what they have to say about that, if they actually tell us anything about the truth. I hate, I doubt it. But this woman right here is the biggest fraud out here. I, I don't even remember her name. What is her, I forget this woman's name. All I, whenever I listen to her, all I hear is lies, lies, BS, BS, BS. All right, let's go here. Next next case. VP finally releases statement on violent hours after pro-Hamas mobs wreak havoc. They should all be deported as far as I'm concerned. I should, I suggest any anybody who's of any political orientation listening to the show, look at who is funding what, who paid for these people to be here, how many of them are actually students for, who are from abroad, who came to this country on a visa and they're studying here, how many of them are in the mob, how many of them are uh, renter mobbers, how many of them are actually just Palestinian agents in the crowd or Hamas members in the crowd? That I would love to know. Guarantee they won't cover it. Harris is possible VB, VP picks reportedly changes votes on controversial legislation. Ooh, ooh, the juggernaut of big money is going to decide. Oh, I've never, <laughs> never heard of that happening. Y'all been seeing these polls that come out of likely voters, uh, mostly Democrats and LGBTQ people being polled and they want to say that Kamala is going to win. 
and like it, it's still close even though they skew the poll every which way they can <laughs> who do you guys think she'll pick i guarantee you it'll be somebody like oh i don't know uh hillary clinton uh, they'd probably pick um occasional cortex you know her as aoc i never i never want to hear anybody actually call her that because those are presidential initials they'll, they'll pick her if they could but i don't that they can't let's see what else is fox want to talk about oh we're still talking about the trump shooting the whole thing is a fraud in my opinion you think this one guy acted alone mr mr geeky he had acted alone anybody who believes that please stop listening to the, my show because your iq is you listening to the show lowers my iq and everybody else listening to the show you lower the iq by listening cnn commentator presses david axelrod oh he's back on biden's forced campaign exit david axelrod if i remember correctly was the guy who helped run obama's campaign in 2008 and 2012 Axelrod is one of the most dangerous men in America, in my opinion. So if he's coming back into the fold, and publicly, by the way, that, that's not good. Horrible. Obama's inner circle signals how 44th president feels about Harris as Democrat nominee. Oh, I'm sure he's thrilled. Oh, I'm sure he's thrilled. As if Obama's relevant. Obama would, Obama would run again if he could, by the way. I can guarantee you he'd run again. And he... He's liable to win, actually, if he could run again. That's how stupid the average American person is. Southwest announces major shift as its seating policy breaks with 50-year tradition. Oh, did you guys hear about this? Apparently, Southwest is now stopping their policy they've had for over 50 years that you can sit wherever you want because apparently a lot of people who are leaving the exit polls and they're not booking are citing that as the reason why they're not doing it, so they're changing it, if you can believe it. I, I, how do you feel about that? I think that's probably more relevant than a lot of this this political circus crap that we're listening to now. What is this story now? Divers discovers 19th century shipwreck filled with artifacts, including crates of champagne. Well, of course, you know, People like to drink. It's an activity as old as time itself, as far as I'm concerned. As far as I know, the first time a guy learned he could... You get wheat or rice or anything and, and condense it and add a little sugar and yeast to it and gave him a little funny feeling that made his wife look a little more attractive. Uh, they started... <laughs> people started using it. Oh, boy. Clint Eastwood. I don't care about Clint Eastwood. Didn't he, didn't he throw his hat in the ring for Biden to show you how out of touch he is? Trump responds to judge ruling lawsuit against ABC. Stephanopoulos will proceed. Oh, of course. Oh, the Trump lawsuits again. You know, I don't know how Trump does it, truthfully. I don't know how Trump deals with all of these, these entities, these Lilliputians coming after him every day of the week. I don't know how he does it. It's impressive, I gotta tell you. I don't know if I could take it day in and day out dealing with these insects swarming around me all the time. Let's go to CNN. What are they reporting on? Harris condemns pro-Hamas protest. I haven't seen that. All I heard was they issued a statement. I, I doubt it. I highly doubt she actually said that. Uh, Governor Gavin Newsom, Governor of California... Executive order for removal of homeless encampments in California. Oh, you mean the people he kicked out of them is his predecessors kicked out of the mental hospitals that are now like human rats running around in California, the state I grew up in, by the way. They're, they're going to do something about the homeless encampments. Oh, you mean the hot beds for typhus and malaria and all these other diseases that are coming around? Oh, boy. What is this over here? Kamala Harris embraces brat label. You... But, Oh, the youth like Kamala Harris. Oh, you mean the brainwashed children out there who have been told that gays are good and God is bad? Oh, I can't imagine why they would vote for Kamala Harris. Let me see what else we got here. U.S. economy is on the verge of a rare, extremely rare achievement. Oh, you mean the highest prices since the Great Depression type of achievement? Yeah. Jennifer Aniston, every uh, man over 50s white woman fantasy, criticizes J.D. Vance, saying, 
I pray that your daughter is fortunate enough not to bear children. Oh, what very classy, very classy, Jen. Very classy. You know, I, I thought you were decent in friends, but now I know that the only friends you have are in the Democrat machine. You're just like all the others. Oh, boy. What is this now? The vice president says she supports the right to peaceful protests, but anti-Semitism, hatred, and violence of any kind has no place in our nation. How about the hate and violence towards your political opponent, Donald Trump? I, I seem to remember you had a very lack of an opinion on that one. Harris confronts the most front foreign policy issues face. They should just come out and wear a, 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 a Kamala Harris button. Look at these people. They're so blatantly pushing for her, it's insulting. How do you guys feel about this? Fact check. So, oh, fact check from fake news, in my opinion. Wow, this should bear a lot of weight on how I view the election. Trump made at least 10 false claims about Harris in a single rally speech. Well, how many false claims has she, he, she made against him? Number one and number two. What, I'm supposed to believe that it's fake because so-called CNN, the bastion of fake news, who lied about the Russia scandal, who lied about Trump's, um, the, the Russia, the, the, the hookers in, in Russia, and Putin, and the election, they all had all this fake news against Trump for years. Now all of a sudden I'm supposed to believe they could do a fact check on him? What is this now? Let me see. Harris in the retirement age, fact check. Ooh, ooh, Wolf Blitzer, guys. Mr. Wolf Blitzer and, and company say that Trump is wrong. Wow, I'm shocked. Ooh. Do I want to actually, no, 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 forget it. Let's look. Uh, let's look. Let's look and see if I can debunk any of these right off the bat. Uh, Harris and abortion. She wants abortion in... Uh-huh, 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 and up until birth, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <sighs> These fact checks are so stupid. Uh, Red Meat, it says, hey, what does Trump say? He said, Trump claimed, quote, Kamala even wants to pass laws to outlaw red meat to stop climate change. Oh, they say her town hall. Oh, because you know politicians, they don't lie about anything. No, no, they're just bastions of the truth. Oh, immigration says she was the border czar, but she never went to the border. Uh, she was the border czar, just so you guys know. Uh, to, to, let's see, many Republicans criticize her. No kidding, the fact that the illegal aliens are whacking sheriffs, they're whacking little girls, and, and they're graping women. Oh, yes, G really good way to champion your, your border policy, Miss Vice President. Uh, let's see, what are the false claims that say he made? A more limited immigration-related assignment. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, stop. These people are so blatantly lying, it makes me sick. No, that's not... 20 million is not a modest... That is not an exaggerated number. Of course they would say that. Oh, yeah, let's believe the government who literally lies about pretty much everything. Oh, yes, let's lie and lie and lie. Oh, yes. I'm sick of it. I, I can't stand CNN. They're so disgusting. Let's see. Let's, let's go to MSNBC. Let's see if it's any better. What's this now? Why Trump wants his hand-picked FBI director to resign immediately. What? Oh, boy. Oh, Team Harris has found the soundtrack for Vice President campaign. Oh, all the Hollywood people are coming out to support her. Wow, I'm shocked. You mean to tell me the Hollywood's mostly of left-wingers? No, I couldn't. I could never have guessed that. Not many people are speculating that Biden's actually taking a dirt nap and they cloned him. I find that to be funny. I don't... Look, that's one of those things that's never going to be proved, and so I'm not going to sit here and sound like some tin, you know, tin horn wearing a tin hat, but it's an interesting theory. 
What's this now? Mark Kelly. Oh, what a what a great what a great pick. The uh from the guy from Arizona. Hey, let me tell you something. As a guy who went to college in Arizona, a lot of people don't like Mark Kelly. The only way he won in my estimation was because of the illegal aliens, and that's why the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals just upheld the Arizona law that says they're now going to, by law, make you show your ID before you can vote. I can guarantee you, if that actually stays, that a lot of changes will be happening to that area politically. You mark my words. How else do you explain that a lot of the Democrats love illegal immigration and also don't like bo uh, voter ID laws? You, want, you need me to add up one plus one for you? What's this now? It just got harder for Trump to distance himself from Project 2025. <sighs> the whole Project 2025 thing make it seem like it's all about white supremacy. Everything that people don't like that has anything to do with a white person is white supremacy to these these fraudsters in the media. Oh, look at that, Mr. Mr. Butt, Mr. Butt, Mr. Butt Gag, Mr. Mr. Gay Man from the. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I not allowed to say that? Vance remarks why it's best not to talk about other people's children. Udi Gag, the only reason you're relevant is because you're not a straight guy. Just so you know, that's the only thing that actually got you anywhere. You ran on that, by the way. You ran on the fact that you were from a small town and you were homosexual. That was your entire campaign. And in my, in my estimation, in an attempt to not seem like he was homophobic, Biden put you on, on his... In his cabinet, that's all. What's this now? Not Netanyahu come to Washington to protect to project strength. He came, yeah, of course he came to Washington to project strength. He's going through a lot in Israel right now. His Trumpian speech. No, in other words, he actually cares about Israel and he cares about the truth. Wow, crazy. He doesn't want to side with the Democrats who are. Mostly filled with anti-Semites, in my estimation, who are the ones um, rallying at these pro-Hamas ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How many right-wing Republicans do you see, or even central Republicans, do you see at these pro-Hamas rallies? I haven't seen a whole lot. Boy. Look at this. It's a mimeograph sheet for the Democrat machine. That's all. That's all this is. Let's go to Newsmax. Oh, condemn! Ooh, dem a couple of Dems vote with GOP to condemn Harris on border. Ooh, they're stepping on a line. Be careful! You don't want to get a whack a mole. Let's see. Uh, Hunter Biden legal team accused of false statements. No kidding. Oh, you mean the the? But I thought that these people were just bastions of honesty and the truth. I'm shocked. I love this picture, by the way, of Trump pumping his fist in the air. Iconic picture. It'll go down in American history. Holly whistleblower, USSS, refuses drones before Trump shooting. Oh, of course, because everybody knows that the whole thing was just made by one guy. I mean, how dare they report that there could be more than just one single nut job guy with a who we don't know anything about him. The FBI can't get into his phone, allegedly, but they know everything about him. How dare you question more? You see, guys, I gotta make, I gotta joke about this. Otherwise, it, you can go crazy from all this crap. What else we got here? DNC prep, preps new convention after sudden Harris switch. Oh, of course, they gotta, they gotta pump her up because Biden wasn't gonna let go of the wheel, but they finally got his hands off it by, in my estimation, cutting a deal with him and his family. Slight temperature drop makes Tuesday the world's second hottest day. Oh, oh don't say that. Al Gore, the, the groundhog, is going to come out and talk about global warming again so they can give him another Nobel Prize, in my estimation. Um, talking about JFK now? Oh, man. How am I, we're going to talk about JFK again? Why don't you just talk about Teddy Roosevelt, too, and, and Ronald Reagan? Israeli forces retrieve bodies from five hostages from Gaza. Anybody who doesn't understand that the Jews are still the victims in the situation, I, don't, I can't help you. I can't help you. Everybody's scrutinizing them, but they're not scrutinizing the Hamas vermin who started the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Russia open to talks, but tr trolls Ukraine on elections. 
because they know it's a corrupt. They know they're living in a proxy war. Look, I don't. People don't. A lot of people don't understand the history of Russia and how brutal they are. How they they're a lot less polite than a lot of other Western countries. Here is let's see. Harley Davidson spo sparks boycott calling for going woke. Oh no. Do I dare click on? Don't tell me they they got what's his they they got what's his name um that one guy from the Bud Light commercial that everybody seems to put if they want to appeal to the to the Alphabet Army what's his name uh Dylan Mulvaney please don't tell me they put Dylan Mulvaney on a on a Harley Davidson hog please I mean he likes to ride hogs paws but you know hope not not on these ones hopefully come on please please don't tell me that. Harley Davidson has got like Dylan Mulvaney on a motorcycle. Oh God, I can't unsee that if they do. LGBTQ boot camp for Harley Davidson. Ugh. Oh hell no! You've got to be joking. Please tell me this is a joke. Is the antithesis of what the brand means? No kidding. No kidding. It's almost like they appeal to guys like me. And guys that are 40 years older than me and not the Starbucks crowd. Starbucks is. Wait a minute. Please tell me this is a. I hope this is a troll. Wait a minute. What is this now? So, Starbucks, who has more than half a million followers on X. It's calling out Harley Davidson for subjecting white employees to DEI indoctrination, hosting an LGBTQ boot camp for its offices and sponsoring pride events. Starbucks, a former GOP candidate, Starbucks, sorry, Starbucks, what am I talking about? Not Starbucks and coffee. Starbucks, a former GOP candidate for a congressional seat in Tennessee, is none other than the, main, than the man behind the online campaign that forced John Deere and Tractor Supply to walk to... Walk back its DEI, DEI initiatives. Thank, thank you. Guys, everybody's like bending the knee to the juggernaut. Oh, man. Well, guys, if you have a Harley Davidson, just know that your company has now gone to, uh, has now joined with Bud Light and others in their woke. Well, they had a good run. Uh, if it, anybody, if anybody wants to short their stock if it's on the market, now is your chance. Let's see, Trump Harris debate will happen. Oh, I'm sure it will. Why wouldn't Trump want to debate her? It's gonna be a total landslide unless the moderators cut his mic. All right, let, let's see how much more I can take of this. CBS. Constant Bolshevik scream sheet news. <laughs> uh, Netanyahu speech. Yep, yep, yep. We talked about that already. Again, they're saying that she condemned the protesters burning the flag. I'd have to see that. I don't believe it. Fires in Northern California. Yeah, it tends to happen this time of year. Not a surprise. Harris vows, quote, we will move forward. Oh, you mean the same woman who said that the only way to ensure the great a great future for our children was uh, population control. Oh, you didn't hear about that. Oh yeah, she said that. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah, it's on tape. It's on. It's on Twitter. Trump holds rally in Charlotte first since Biden exiting race. How about also first since he was shot at? Where's that? Harris vetting about a dozen possible VP candidates. Oh, I'm sure all of them are very straight, very white, and very male. <laughs> Man, Trump donated to Harris campaign when she was California Attorney General. Yeah, it's almost like he wasn't a politician; he was a businessman and donated to everybody. You know, like most businessmen do. Wow, crazy, right? Uh, let's see. Meet Team USA's Olympic athletes for the 2024 Paris Games. Hey, as long as they're actually picked not for DEI, but for actually being good at their sport, I could care less. Shipwreck, talked about it. Where is all the actual 
like news. They're all just parroting each other like a like those birds from Nemo. DEA files show agents joked about grape when one was accused of it. Oh yeah. Oh look, they're both white, probably. Maybe one slightly Hispanic. Of course, because you know, men Men are just evil, you know? Of course, all of you know that men are just evil pigs. You know, that's how they frame it. I doubt that's actually what happened, but of course, just push the agenda that men are dirty, filthy pigs. Trump rally, let's see. FBI director reveals new new details, ooh, about the Trump shooting at the House hearing. Oh boy, FBI, shooters searched about Kennedy assassination. I'm, I'm supposed to believe what the government's saying about this. Does anybody believe what the government's pushing about this? No, I, I don't. Not for two seconds. The government is many things forthcoming, truthful. No, not really. Netanyahu faces rage at home and in DC as he addresses Congress. Oh, it's almost like he can't ever do anything right. You know, like most of the people in Israel are always criticized for everything they do. They didn't respond enough. They responded too heavily. You shouldn't have done this. You shouldn't have done that. Uh, he should just do what he thinks is right, period, end of story. Netanyahu, what's this now? Netanyahu thanks the United States for support, calls protesters useful idiots. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, thank you, Mr. Netanyahu. We agree on that. Thank you very much. Uh, he's quoting Vladimir Lenin on that one. I appreciate that. Thank you. China says Hamas and rival faction signs pact to lead Palestinians. Oh, you mean China and, and Russia are behind the forces against Israel? Oh my goodness, it's almost like the KGB was behind a lot of the slogans you're now hearing in the media, you know, like Zionism is racism, um, from the river to the sea. Oh, you didn't know that, you didn't know that that came from the KGB? Well, now you do. Oh yeah, look it up. I'm not making it up. Uh, diversifying your investments. Yes, yes, yes. Money watch. U.S. economy grew 2.8% last quarter, exceeding expectations. Oh, when the, when the entire economy is in the garbage can, pretty much any progress is, in, is inevitably going to be made. Big shock on that. Oh, boy. No, I think I've had enough of this crap. Anybody else have anything they want, anything that popped into their head that they want to discuss from a news standpoint that was of any relevance? Let me know in the comments because I'm not seeing a whole lot more. But the whole thing is so ridiculous to me, guys. How much of that do you think was actually true? And that's what gets to me. The world is full of liars, scumbags, and people who are just going to deceive you. So much of that was the tip of the iceberg at best or completely garbage at worst. Tell me I, tell me I am lying. Please, go ahead. I'm waiting for it. Ugh. My gosh, a bunch of garbage. I don't know how much more I can take. And we're not even, like, past Labor Day yet. Oh, God. Anyways, my friends, let me know what you thought. Let me know if you have anything you want to add, any new stories that came out to you that you want to discuss. Do so in the comments. But anyways, let me know. I'm exhausted just listening to this. Reading this stuff, I get nauseous listening to all the propaganda. It's slightly less nauseating when I get to discuss it with you guys, but still, it's still nauseating. How much of the news do you actually believe? Where do you get your news from? That's what I like to know. Anyways, my friends, take care of yourselves. Think for yourself, for God's sakes. Don't just believe what you've been told. Think, respond the way I respond. That's how I picture a lot of people responding, but they don't have the guts to say they do it. Anyways, my friends, take care. I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.